Hey guys, this week I'm going to um, try something completely new. Never done it before, so this should be interesting. It's with the uh, Kitty Raymer model that I got from Scale 75. I've glued most of it together, um, heads on, bodies on, both arms are on, and the guns on. Um, but what we have is the um, umbrella, which is going to go over there. And we have the back of our skirt, bustle, I think it might be called. Now, the thing is, is I could just stick it on and just paint it like that. And then just green stuff around the edges where it needs a bit of tidy up. There's gaps in there that it needs, needs a bit of tidy up. And there's gaps around here that need cleaning up. Could just stick it on. However, that's going to make it really quite difficult to get round the back of our legs sort of round there and sort of in, in those kind of areas under there and back there so what I've opted to do is actually try and paint her separately so a painter like this get all the skin tones and um, sort of the tones on her stockings done and get all, get all that painted up quite happily um, sort of darken off round the back to show that it's in shadow but essentially sort of paint everything up and then stick the bustle on but the problem is, is I need the miniature to be primed at the very least for this so what I'm going to try and do is um, a little trick I picked up from uh, somebody else and basically I am going to try and green stuff the skirt so that it all matches up and then once the green stuff is dry, remove the skirt. And that's that's fairly easily achieved. It does come away quite nicely. So I sh shouldn't be too difficult. Shouldn't be too difficult to do that. So the way I'm going to do this is essentially I need to make the green stuff stick to one side of it, but not the other. And apparently the way to do this is with Vaseline. The green essentially you coat one side of it in Vaseline, a very thin layer, as thin as you can get it, and the green stuff won't stick to that. So then, what you do is you put your green stuff on the other side, and I've I've decided that the, probably the easiest way to do it is if I stick the green stuff to the skirt. Um, don't particularly know why I've decided that. It just seems to be the sensible option, really. So, so essentially, Vaseline all round a bum. Stick the skirt into place, green stuff all round there, and then essentially just put it down till it's dry. Because luckily the skirt actually sits there quite nicely. Put it down until she's dry, or give it a couple of hours for the green stuff to be solid enough that it's not going to get, it's not going to move when it gets knocked. And then take the skirt off, and let it dry fully, and wash this. So this is a complete and utter experiment never done it before so this should be interesting so I'm just going to liberally spread a whole bunch of Vaseline and I have no idea how I'm actually going to get this model off the model afterwards if soap doesn't work that is going to be um, interesting. I'm kind of hoping soap works. I would have thought so. So Nice even layer all the way around. Basically everywhere that you think you might accidentally get green stuff. I mean it would be easy enough to scrape the green stuff off the metal afterwards. A little more difficult with resin but easy enough with um, easy enough with metal. But for the moment as a sort of test to see if this actually works or not this seems to be quite a good option. So that is good and greasy. So I shall wipe off. This is just a, this thing's just a colour shaper they call it. It's essentially a bit of um, silicon rubber on the end and it just flexes. It's quite nice for um, sort of modelling with green stuff and things like that because you can quite happily sort of just, just brush, literally just use it as a brush but without actually having to trash a brush. 
and it being silicon the green stuff tends not to stick to it anyway so here we go so the next step is to mix up some green stuff uh, you've all seen this before I'm not going to subject you to mixing up of green stuff so I'm just going to hit pause for a minute mix up a healthy lump of this and then off we go okay so we're back nice lump of green stuff if you don't know what this is it's essentially a two-part modeling epoxy once you've mixed it together it comes in yellow and blue mixes up to a green paste well not paste but a sticky lump a bit like sort of blue tack or white tack and things like that um, not stickier though it solidifies after a couple of hours you've got about half an hour 45 minutes depending on your weather conditions to actually work it um, it sticks to just about everything I recommend sort of wetting your fingers slightly when you're mixing it because it's an absolute pain um, and yeah so you can essentially just pull bits off shape it however you want and off you go sticks quite nicely to metal and quite a lot of other stuff tends to be used for gap filling and things like that on this kind of modeling <coughs> excuse me a bit of picked up a cold from somewhere somewhat irritating so that should probably do the trick we've also got a slight hole just in there which I'll also fill whilst I've got the green stuff out and because I've made way more than I needed so again you can just come in with the colour shaper and push it into place so there you go I'm quite happy for that to just sort of sit there and you can see on the other side I'm just going to smooth it down now what I'll probably do is actually sort of come in and smooth down these edges because this is going to be visible not a huge amount but it is so you can get harder ones of these as well which I probably need to pick up at some point I think the colour shapers are the softer ones and you can get clay shapers which I believe tend to have a black tip rather than a white tip and they're, they're harder for they're, they're more meant for doing clay okay so I mean ideally I mean this this is going to be at the back of her skirt behind her legs so I'm not too worried about the way it's going to appear because it's mostly going to be black but it would be nice if it didn't look like there was a honking great patch of green stuff on there so here we go I'm pretty much just going to put it into position and push the effect that will have is to essentially fill all of the gaps up now you can get a tool of your choice and essentially scrape away all of the extra that you don't need in there and you don't want to scrape away all of it because you will be sort of moving it around and everything like that and most of that lot can go if I can get a there we go a lot can go. There's a bit in there. That can go. Sorry, the camera doesn't seem to be doing too well on this. So, next step is to come back in with the clay shaper and start smoothing. Now, as you can see, I can pull it apart quite nicely. I, I figured I'd test it before I actually went any further. And it, does, it hasn't stuck to the model at all in any way, shape or form. So, quite pleased with the way this is coming along. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the skirt off once it's dry, but we shall see. This is going to be a bit of an experiment. So, essentially, the, the nice thing is, is because this is actually a skirt, you can kind of get away with leaving bits of green stuff there as long as it doesn't look like, well, bits of green stuff, really. 
as long as you've actually gone in there and sort of smoothed out the edges it being a skirt means that there's going to be a lot of almost wishing I hadn't stuck the arm on now that's going to be a bit of a pain to work around but we'll manage now main issue is at the moment I didn't stick any down that bit so I'm just going to, have to take it apart temporarily I need some new stuff and I've got fingers covered in Vaseline as well okay so I'm just going to put that on there wrong side it wants to be on this side so there we go that's more than enough I'm just going to put this back into position okay there we go so pulling all that off of course this this green stuff I'm pulling off that's now covered in Vaseline is pretty much useless simply because it's covered in Vaseline there's not a lot you can do with it really it won't stick to anything well it's not going to want to stick to anything <coughs> excuse me and when you're doing this kind of gap filling you want to use as little as humanly possible because any that's left on the model will obscure detail again this is a skirt there isn't any detail it's got a rough sort of around there so I want to avoid sort of filling in those bits but for the most part it's a nice flat seamless object or it should be so that's basically what I'm aiming for There's no real parts to be moulded or anything like that around. It's just a very nice, simple shape. Which is always good when you're testing stuff out like this. I mean, yeah, the argument could be made that the best way of testing it would be to actually do it on a piece that I didn't particularly care so much about. But where's the fun in that? I've got way too much under a bow there. I'm going to pull all of that out. Oops, stabbing the camera. So there we go. I'll tell you one thing, the Vaseline gets everywhere. But that's no bad thing, as long as it doesn't stop it sticking to the skirt and just her all good okay so essentially we're mainly looking for the gap filling properties rather than anything else we're not we're not looking for it to actually sort of form particular shapes or anything this is purely just gap filling and making sure that everything looks all right so yep that works for me checking that little hole back there and as you can see when I mean, it can be seen a little bit it's sort of in there but once that's all painted up these areas are going to be just be pretty much solid black there might be a bit of color down there but beyond that these areas are certainly going to be pretty much black so they'll just um, blend in quite nicely I need to try and dig out the little bit that's just stuck itself into the gun there it is come here you I'm by no means the best at working with green stuff I'm certainly no sculptor this this is about as complex and involved as I get with green stuff for the most part So, there we go. 
So I'm pretty happy with the way that looks at the moment. It's covered up most of the holes in the skirt. So the next thing to do is going to be to leave that for a couple of hours, let the green stuff set up a little bit, and then we'll, uh, we'll peel it back and see what happens. So you'll find out in about 10 15 seconds or so, and I'll find out in a couple of hours. All right. Okay, so it's about 24 hours later. Ended up leaving it for slightly longer than I was expecting. As you can see, the green stuff is now pretty solid. You can still dent it with a fingernail, but beyond that, it's actually fairly solid. So, here we go. Let's see if we can get this off. It's certainly loose. There we go. And we've left none on the actual model, which is nice. It's very little, there's a slight line there, but that'll come off easily enough. So there we go. They're quite nice there. And here we have you can still feel the grease on it. That's quite nice. It's going to need to wash before I spray it, but it seems to have worked quite well. Might need a bit of a clean up here and there, but hopefully it should fit quite nicely. There we go. So I can put it back together again, and you can see if it focuses up, joins are pretty good. The whole thing comes apart. It back together again. I'm not going to do this too many times. There we go. So it fits in. We get quite a nice snug join in there. Pretty smooth. Certainly good enough for um, painting on. So there we go. Vaseline and green stuff. It actually works. <laughs>